Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong with this video. That really, I wanted to talk about this as I've seen videos by um, some YouTubers like, I think, Carrie Holzman, BrightTech09, a few tech YouTubers have made a video about a mini PC maker that di distributes PCs known as by the brand called Ace Magic. It says here, this is from the Tom's Hardware website. Published by Zai Liu, published about 22 hours ago, and read it says Mini PC Maker ships systems with factory installed spyware. Ace Magic says issue was contained in the first shipment. Some batches of mini PCs come with malware. Uh oh! John from the Net Guy reviews on YouTube. Well, the Net Guy is mentioned in the PC World, or in the not PC World, Tom's Hardware article. Well, it says if John from the Net Guy Reviews YouTube channel claims to have found spyware inside the Ace Magic AD08 mini PC that he received for review. Other models, including the AD15 and S1, reportedly present similar spyware problems. As a quick introduction, Shenzhen Shen, Shenmin Hing Technology Co. Limited, also known as Mini PC Union, op, op, owns different brands: Ace Magic, Ace Magician. Kurt, Cam Rui, Nai, Poji, and Seatone. Many of the cheap mini PCs on Amazon are cookie cutter products. Sometimes the only difference is specifications. That's why the Ace Magic AD08, for example, looks identical to the Cam, Cam, Cam Rui AM08. It's hard to pronounce those weird names. According to John, Windows Defender initially detected suspicious files from the recovery partition. From the NVMe drive installed inside of the Ace Magic AD08, which the reviewer received through drop shipping from the fulfillment by Amazon FBA servers. <laughs> if I ever was to get a mini PC like this from Ace Magic, my first step is to wipe it clean with their clean install of Windows 11 to get rid of the preloaded stuff on it, or put Linux on it as an alternative to clear up that. The affected files consist of two executables, indev and EDI dev. The malware belongs to the Blod, Blodabindi and Redline families, which are password stealers. Yikes! This has password stealers in it, which steals stores, which steals stored passwords from browsers and cryptocurrency wallets, log the victims' keystrokes, and extract information from an infected system, among other illicit activities. Yikes! A complete system scan revealed additional spyware files hiding in the Windows folder. Virus total confirmed Windows Defender's diagnostics. A total of 50 security vendors flagged the file as malicious. So this has a free malicious infected version of Windows from the manufacturer that has spyware files hiding in the Windows folder. Tisk tisk ace magic. Y'all are a bunch of idiots for that. Y'all get called out for it. By me and other YouTubers. One Amazon buyer who purchased the Ace Magic 8008 also reported malware inside the system, so the YouTuber's experience was not an isolated incident. Electric Salro arrived with malware installed Backdoor 132 Blada Bindi, a backdoor Trojan which is a remote access tool known for its data stealing capabilities. It was hard coded into the Windows recovery so it would not be wiped on reset. Windows was also a spoofed version, not a valid product key. Uh oh! Ace Magic. The company stupidly sells a PC with a Trojan horse malware on it, or Trojan horse, and a spoofed version of Windows, a pirated version of Windows, without a, without a valid product key tied to it. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, Richard Denno, who picked up on it, who picked up an AK-1, referred it, referring to the Ace Magic computer line, stated, Okay, first things first, this computer backdoor 132 Blada Bindi in Trojan MSIL Redline MSR malware. These files are the indev.exe and indev.exe in the folder C Windows OS error. There's also copies of these on the restore information, so if you do a system restore, they'll be reinstalled. So it's also all that comes with Chrome pre installed, but given the other malware, I wouldn't trust the copy they installed. Another uh oh is that they have Chrome pre installed on the computer, which is not usual. When you get a Windows PC for the first time from a manufacturer like HP, Dell, Asus, or anything like that, 
Like, there will be windows preloaded on it from the manufacturer ready to use, but it comes with preloaded software that the manufacturer put on there. Like, additional bloatware, but Google Chrome is never present on the computer. Not really. You have to manually install Chrome yourself. When I first got my HP laptop for my birthday in 2023, actually, no, I shouldn't say, no, not 2023, 2022, rather, my laptop came pre-installed Windows 11 Home Edition and additional apps on there that I did a clean reinstall of Windows to wipe off all that. Um, it just came with the Microsoft Edge. It came with additional bloatware on my HP laptop I got in 2022 for my birthday. So I later wiped the entire laptop clean to get rid of it and re did a clean reinstall of Windows 11 Home on there. And it got rid of most of the bloatware. I later gave feedback to Hewlett Packard that obviously that their laptops come with bloatware on it that is too much it's too much to deal with when you get a new laptop for the first time that there's a lot of bloatware that comes preloaded on it. They ain't the first time. I've had computers come with preloaded bloatware on them as soon as I got them new for like a Christmas gift mostly. I got my first laptop 2008 that was a Dell laptop with Windows Vista Home Basic on it, and it had some bloatware, front, additional bloatware with it, but it had some Adele stuff, which was acquired, but it had some additional stuff that I didn't need on there, so things like that. So I'll continue. The malware issue isn't limited to just the Ace Magic AD08 or AK1. The net guy reviews peers found duplicate files in AD15. Another contact found a different malware hidden inside the LED control software. Uh-oh, for the S1. John purchased another Ace Magic AD08 mini PC directly from Amazon, but the machine was clean this time. The only difference he noticed within the packaging was a small sticker denoting P2. It seems that the vendor discovered the problem and released a revised version. I'll read it. It says an Ace Magic representative purportedly got back to John with the following statement. Hi, John. Yes, the virus software issue has been resolved in the current stock product offering, and this issue will no longer be present in the current offerings, as the one sent to you was the first shipment, we and we apologize that it had these issues caused you some distress. But please don't worry. Everything has been properly resolved now. Thank you for your support. It is not the first time Ace Magic has encountered malware problems. The vendor previously acknowledged the issue where the Bing search engine was included in the pre-installation process for the AD08S1 and AK1 Plus RGB. However, Ace Magic didn't say anything about the malware, so we shouldn't assume it's the same issue. From the spokesperson's statement, it is possible that a specific batch of Ace Magic devices presents a malware problem. That's one of the caveats of outsourcing your Windows images. The company may have already pulled all the compromised devices from retailers. However, it, also, it is also unknown how many of them got out. Ace Magic hasn't issued a recall on these machines, so the number could be small. John and, and a company may just be unlucky. If you own a mini PC from Ace Magic or one other of the sub brands that are still using the original Windows install, it wouldn't hurt to run a virus scan to see if you're malware free. Okay, having that said, this is exactly the computer that John, the guy at tech reviews on YouTube, he ended up getting a computer sent him for review and multiple people have encountered a snafu where the computer contains a password stealer in the Windows system files that reappears when the system is reinstalled and people have done some digging and spotted some malicious software in it and pre-installed version of Google Chrome that shouldn't be there. When the file is ran on virus total, 50 out of 70 antivirus engines detect the file as a Trojan. And even Windows Defender sounded an alarm, which is also surprising. Things like that. So basically, in this screenshot, you can see that it shows that the um, malware is located in two locations. One in the recovery area and one in the Windows folder in osver.indev.exe and OEM osver.indev.exe as well. And Windows Defender caught it. Here's another review that or someone put about the computer that had malware in it. Now, 
And when it comes to buying computers online on Amazon or any Tiger Direct or Newegg, it's best to get reputable brands like Asus, Acer, um, HP, Lenovo, stuff like that. I would suggest people avoid brands that they never heard of as brands you never heard of when it comes to computers might have a little more than what you bargained for, what, a little more than what you signed up for initially. But the mini PC maker, Ace Magic, has been called out by Kerry Holzman, Brightech09, and the other tech reviewer guy for containing malware pre-installed on the computer from the factory. Yeah, so, having that said, this is William Armstrong signing out, and I will see you next time, and be careful, and don't get caught on the internet by criminals. Goodbye.